Hey guys, welcome to the Workout of the Week, brought to you by the Get Better Project, which is your online at-home workout program that only requires two dumbbells to get an absolutely phenomenal workout, get yourself into great shape. Emily and I have been proving it for the last two years, living out of a van, only having two dumbbells that we use ourselves and getting it done so that we can do all the fun things that we'd like to, being super fit, looking super good. If you would like to do this and join us in the Get Better Project, Hold on till the end, do this workout, and then we'll give you a free couple of weeks in the program. Today's workout of the week is a 20 minute EMOM. So every minute on the minute for 20 minutes, where minute one is 20 dumbbell or kettlebell bent over rows, so one in each hand. Minute two is 15 deep push ups on the dumbbell handles. Minute three is 15 hollow rocks. And then minute four is 15 dumbbell push presses. So, the way this works is on the minute when you start, let's say that you have those bent over rows that you're doing, you have 20 of those guys. When the minute starts, you do 20 of them as quickly as you can with high quality technique. Then you get the full rest of the minute to rest. Then minute two, you would start off with the next thing, which would be the push-ups, so 15 push-ups. If you get those done in 15 seconds, then you have 45 seconds rest before you get through this. So this is a great style of workout to have the programmed amount of rest in there for you. It is also cool because you don't have to blast yourself and you get to have, in this case, 20 minutes of work where you're going to have or get to practice each one of these movement patterns, okay? So an EMOM is a great way to practice those things, have prescribed rest so you don't just sit there and wait sometimes, uh, as well as the programmer, my way of programming the rest for you. If you can't make it through a minute, so let's say that the dumbbell push press is the 15, you can't get through those in 60 seconds, which might happen, you just, roll over into the next minute. So let's say that on the eighth minute, you went into the ninth minute, you would take the whole rest of that minute off and then you start back up on the bent over rows. And then your total workout time would end up being 21 minutes instead of the 20 minutes. All right guys, there you have it. Have fun with this. If you would like two free weeks of the Get Better Project, where actually we have a body weight only workouts, we have two dumbbell workouts, we have workouts that you need a full gym for barbells, pull-up bars, all that fun stuff. You can get two free weeks of the whole thing, including our coaching and the videos and the app by going to thegetbetterproject.com slash two weeks. That's thegetbetterproject.com slash number two weeks. If you have any questions about it at all, let us know. But you can head over there and get started today. All right, guys, let us know how you do on this workout. Let us know how it is for you. Let us know if it's challenging enough, not challenging enough for you. And if it wasn't challenging enough, you probably just need to use heavier weights. But uh, either way, have fun. All right, guys, see you next week. For the bent over dumbbell row, you're going to have the weights at your size, just like a deadlift when you start. You're gonna hinge at your hips, just like a deadlift. Weight on the heels, toes gripping the ground, keeping the back nice and flat. Lifting yourself up off the ground, actually, just to your knees this time, though. Then you're gonna pull that dumbbell towards your lower abdomen. Okay, or dumbbells for your lower abdomen. So this is what the movement's gonna look like. I'm trying to keep my back flat, chest up the whole time. My shoulders roll forward as I go down and then I pull them back when I pull the dumbbells towards my abdomen. The whole time my weight's gonna be on my heels, my toes are gonna be gripping the ground, and I'm trying to pretty much pull my shoulders down and, or yeah, down and back as I pull that dumbbell rather than up and back. So down and back. And then engage the lower lats a little bit more. And it's going to, you should really feel this in this portion of your back muscle, ideally. But it's okay if you don't right away. Think about it, try and feel it, and then eventually it's gonna get easier and easier to do. And it's a great movement to be done. You'd also do it with one dumbbell if the two dumbbells are too heavy for you, and that would be totally cool. For push-ups, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself into the high plank position to start. So hands are gonna be out shoulder width Heart, and you're gonna make a straight line from your shoulders down to your ankles. Then from here, you're gonna lower yourself, chest and stomach all the way down to the ground and extend all the way back out until your elbows are locked out. And you're gonna repeat that position up and down while you're doing the push-up. You're gonna have core engagement the whole time, so slightly stuck in the core, and you're going to be moving your shoulders back and chest up and then forward as you press. 
you're looking down from or up from above, my elbows are going to be about halfway between at my sides and up in my shoulders. And my shoulders are going to be pressed down to the ground or towards the ground as I am pushing by engaging my lats here. It's going to keep my shoulders nice and safe. It's going to keep your shoulders nice and safe. And it's going to make the movement actually easier for you. For hollow rocks, you're going to start off by laying down on the ground or mat ideally. Then you're going to take a position where your hands are above your head and your feet are off of the ground. So essentially then you're going to rock yourself back and forth like this, trying to keep a rounded position at your butt and lower back. So it's just this hollow position that they call it. And you just go back and forth and what's going to happen is you're going to get a lot of fatigue in your core. It's a massive amount of fatigue, but as you get good at holding that position, it actually transfers over into other movement patterns, especially gymnastics movements. So just basically holding yourself and rocking back and forth for the hollow rock. For a dumbbell push press, you're going to have your dumbbells, you're going to approach them like a deadlift or clean, keeping your back flat, jumping the dumbbells up into the front rack position where one head is going to be resting on your shoulders. Then from here, you're going to have your jump stance. What you're going to do is you're going to dip with your weight on your heels, knees press to the outside, drive and press. So drive and press, coming back down and then repeating the process. You're not trying to take too big of a dip, just enough to get like a explosive jump position and you're driving through your heels, which is going to activate the glutes and the hamstrings to drive the weight up overhead. 